What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you guys how to take off your cowl on your Jeep TJ. A lot of times dirt and debris will get underneath here and actually block your water drains and uh, can also that can lead to getting water inside your cabin. So we're just going to show you how to take it off and how to clean that and make sure your drains are clear. Uh, and then also if you needed to get to your wiper motors, you'd obviously need to know how to do this as well. So we're just going to show you guys how to do it. First, what we're going to do, we're going to take our wiper blades off. So first thing you want to do, get a towel lay it underneath right here you're going to lift up on the wiper blade and then all you're going to do is there's a little clip here take a flathead screwdriver just push down on it once you hear it click then you can just lift this guy straight off and you're good to go there so we're going to do it on the other side as well all right so now that we got that down we got a bunch of phillips head uh, screws all along the cowl here so we're just going to start by removing them here and there's one right where the vent is for water capacitor. We're going to take that out. Okay, we got that. All right, so next we have to open up the hood here. So you're going to open the hood up. Okay, we're gonna make our way over here to this gasket, I guess you could call. You're just gonna to wanna to pull this slightly off and we're gonna have a screw right here that we're gonna take out. And then there's another one on the other side. So I won't bore you with it, but there's just obviously one side, just pull this off and then under the other side. The one thing that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is right here, when you're pulling the cowl off, you don't want this piece here to ding up the paint on your cowl here so you're going to lift up here like so and kind of push down and up just like that it, it, it is difficult just take your time with it and uh, you should be good to go okay so now we can inspect under the cowl here to see if you have anything jammed in here any broken pieces just got a little bit of gunk here. Not that big of a deal, but just check this, see if you got anything damaged in this area where junk can get past this. It's kind of like almost like a little filter. So check that to make sure that's all good to go. Now that we got that off, you guys can see that just in this general area, if a bunch of gunk is all in here, it can actually push back. This one's really clean, uh, but then you have access to your uh, wiper blade motor if you need to change that out. But uh, one thing that I would suggest, you see the drain is actually right here. Uh, it might be in a couple different places on different years, but on this old one, the drain is right here. So I would inspect this area all in here. If this is all blocked at all, you're going to be sending water, you know, that way. So I would get some compressed air and compress air all this stuff out of here. Uh, make sure you don't have any gunk sitting in here. Some compressed air, blow it out, and then follow that drain hole all the way to the underside of your Jeep. Uh, there's going to be a little track that goes all the way down there, or a little section that goes all the way down there. Make sure it's not clogged. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, reinstall. We're just going to pop the hood up just a little bit just to kind of help us here. The hardest part of doing it, so you just want to be, just want to be careful about it. Not to scrape the crap out of it. And then you want to be careful not to scrape your hood as well. It's kind of like that. Might help to kind of remove the gasket a little bit to get it back in. Have it set down in there. Might have to adjust it a little bit. that put that back there not to go crazy with these guys but Just like that that's good then he's got the wiper blades so these take a little bit of trick. If you guys don't know how to kind of line these up, I got a video on how to properly 
adjust your wipers. So kind of get it. It might take a couple times just kind of guessing and moving it and that looks pretty good. So we'll get it like this. Just gonna push that clip on. And there you go, your wipers on. Grab the other one. Okay. Happy with that. And just like that. So anyway guys, hopefully that helps you if you're having some little bit of water issues uh, going inside your cabin or needed to do anything. Uh, and it's just probably just good just to check to make sure that you don't have gunk inside there. And uh, anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.